Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGuy YouTube channel. Got a really um, interesting and high quality light to review today. It's called the BIOS Icarus Ti2. BIOS are an American company who've been uh, making and selling LED lights for some time now. They're one of the, lo the longer, more established uh, companies in the market. And yeah, they sent me what I think is their flagship model really. It's a big beast. It's uh, 700 watts consumed here. Um, large physically, 1.1 meters long or three and a half foot long and about five inches um, or 12 centimeters wide this way and about uh, the same in depth. It is specifically designed really for large commercial environments. So it's got a, a specified high hanging height of about three foot or 90 centimeters. And um, you know, the, the large power in a single light means that it has a small footprint or surface area, which means in a greenhouse environment, it's going to be blocking out very little light, a relatively small amount of light. And the fact that you can hang it up high means that um, you are able to work clearly underneath it and it's gonna also give it a very even spread. Um, following on from that, you've got the uh, glass front over the LEDs, so sealed and very tough and durable. Um, the great protection for the LEDs for a commercial environment. Um, it's all IP66 rated, so all water sealed connectors, uh, including the driver, which is a, a big beast in itself. The um, heat sinking is uh, very robust and solid. So you got these U plates coming up off the back of the um, heatsink, and they've got lots of cooling fins inside in here. So giving very good, robust, uh, oversized um, cooling to the fixture. In terms of spectrum and LEDs then, uh, it's pumping out a 4.4K color temperature, which is kind of on the cool, cooler white um, to neutral. Um, so a bit more blue than your sort of three and a half K spectrum, which has kind of become industry standard now. Um, so you get nice short dense growth with it guaranteed and uh, it's going to be suitable for full cycle growing. So uh, spectrum is spot on. I did test it, of course. Uh, one one uh, issue I had was that um, the largest test area I have is five foot by five foot or 1.5 by 1.5 meters. My test walls are, are two foot or 60 centimeters high. Um, because of that, if I hung this way up at 90 centimeters or three foot at specified height for flowering, a lot of light would have overspilt the um, reflective walls and I wouldn't have captured it, giving it an unfair result. So uh, I'm sure it is, it is perfect, um, the proper uh, height to hang it at. Uh, but I dropped it down to two foot or 60 centimeters height, which did give me a higher um, micromoles or power level in the center than we would like. But uh, it just meant that I was capturing all the photons. So please excuse the slight variance from the normal procedure. Um, and yeah, it gave an excellent result. So uh, 2.17 micromoles per watt was the amount of uh, PPF, the amount of power delivered to the target area at that hanging height, which makes it a really high efficiency fixture um, and going to give you a good return in investment. Um, and yeah, really like the light. It's, it's, um, it, it's heavy, but not hugely heavy. It's 24 pounds, uh, which is about 11 kilograms, which for, for 700 watts is not a huge amount of, um, of energy or sorry, of, of mass. Uh, for that amount of energy and uh, yeah it's plug and play just straight out of the box and switch it on connect it up switch it on real easy you can get dimming controls for the driver uh, 0 to 10 volt and um, yeah like it a lot as I said really orientated much more towards the commercial market I think uh, or where you have a large facility with lots of headroom and space above um, but for that kind of application, it's ideal and uh, really well engineered. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so thanks to Bias for sending me the light. And uh, yeah, any questions, 
please leave them in the comments below. Take care.